For the longest time, I've looked at people being like, why are you putting yourself through that? And then there I am, putting myself through it. Yo, so we're back Saturday and it's a momentous day. We've had a delivery. So in line with agreeing to do a cut until Phoenix, I also agreed that I would run a 5K. Now, many of you will be thinking, that's not much of a big deal. Surely being a coach, you should be able to do that. And you're probably right, but if anybody knows me in any way, shape or form, you will absolutely know that I absolutely hate running. Um, I think Matt described it best when we were in New York as 100% not built for running. But in the nature of going full sand, I decided that it's probably time I get myself a pair of running shoes. Now, I saw these when we were in New York and did not buy them. Um, truthfully, I don't know why I decided to buy them, but we need to go for some running shoes and I picked up these. Um, don't know any more that I can tell you about them. Ultra Boost Light and their Gore-Tex because it's always raining here. So I guess we got to go out and test them today. I guess I'll find out if they fit me first. So yeah, we're going to run, which again will be an additional experience of this whole thing. But I figure Jason suggested it in the group that we do a 5k one morning i can't really be the one that is getting people to do stuff they don't want to do and completely out of their comfort zone and then when someone suggests something i don't want to do just be like nah i'm good so lead from the front and all that not fans Good. Tune in for a speed test. Fast as fuck, boy. Still fast as fuck, boy. Right. So, speed test complete. Um, I'm going to have to take these out in the real world. Um, there is a, a path, let's say, that I follow from the house. So, if I go out for a walk, I leave the house, walk down the footpath, walk past, there's like a horse racing track and a golf club um, and I come basically to the end of the footpath and then I turn and come back. I don't know how far away that is, I don't know how long it will take me, but I'm going to run to it and I'm going to run back and see what happens. Um, I have a crisis, what do you wear when you go running? Like so many things to take into consideration. but Stay tuned. I'm going to go and get it now. I've got my headphones in. I remember the last time I tried to run, they just kept falling out, so that'll be fun. Uh, I'm not going to take the camera with me, although it potentially could be hilarious, um, but I'll check in once I return. Overnight. So, <laughs> I'm just in through the door. Fuck my life. So, how was that? Um, I think the, I mean, I don't really know, I don't really know how to explain. Um, whenever I left here and ran out of the street, I was like, this is fine. 10 seconds in, I got to the halfway point and I was on about, a 450 kilometer pace. Now, lesson for future me, probably a little bit too hot out to get. On the way back, I had to slow down to walk. Maybe, I'm gonna say twice, three times. One time, it was the other car out. But fuck, I was glad to see that car. The total, and this is pathetic when I read it out, um, 
I ran 1.61 miles and I ran at a pace of 8 minutes 43 per mile and it took me 14 minutes and this is how I feel it's not good so the lesson is I think the biggest thing for me is the reason I don't like running is because I'm not good at it and that was a reminder and there was a couple of times during the run given the playlist Jason Steelitz, by the way, I mean, this is my first day, but good for a running playlist. Uh, I feel like I want to get good at this and I can't expect people to do things they don't want to do and me not. And actually, as a bit of a reminder to myself, I had a call yesterday, two calls yesterday, and the general theme of why they were looking for a coach was they didn't want to be their own limiting factor. They didn't want to have to second guess anything that anybody asked them to do, whether it was go for a run or hike or move a box or move a sofa or whatever the thing is. They didn't want to have to second guess it based on their own ability. And I think today is my reminder of that. I should be able to run a 5K. Yes, it is cool being able to lift heavy stuff. And I was out running and I was like, for the longest time I looked at people being like, why are you putting yourself through that? And then there I am, putting myself through it. But, I got it done. My first goal is to be able to run that without having to stop or slow down on the way back. And then we'll work on going any further. I can absolutely 100% guarantee my body is going to hit me in a multitude of different ways over the next couple of days but it will adapt any runners any running tips any advice drop them in the comments or shoot me a dm i'm done